to it. It's Josh Tyler and Aaron Schell, Warp Tour 2009. Oh, look, hey, hey welcome back. It's, it's Medina Lake. It's a pleasure to be back. <laughs> it's, it's part of Medina Lake. Yeah. Right. So. so what's going on last, last week's night in Berlin show? And Berlin show, yeah, that was, uh, that was a great tour. Since then, we yeah, just totally right peaced out on the States. We went, you know, okay. Australia, we went right. to Japan, we went to Europe and the UK. So we spent like the first four or five months of the year out of the country. So the record, you know, came out and we were gone. So now we yeah. sort of look at the warp Tour as like the actual release of the record. So we've been on this guy for, what, two months now, I think? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, right on. And, and what's been, uh, uh, obviously, I mean, uh, besides from talking to us today, what's been like your high point of life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one is pretty much unrivaled. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had, uh, we just got off stage somewhere, maybe Buffalo, New York, or something, and a couple of guys from No Effects on that day, and I like they came up and complimented our band. They said they thought we were great and they loved our live show. That was the highlight for me. Right on. Yeah. Your, your show is just unreal. I mean, Thank the, you. The helicopter skins and the dance yeah. cars, like, God, how do they do that crap? It's unreal. And uh, and you guys have been, uh, how's the crowd turnout? You guys are on Ernie Ball. Yeah. Uh, how's the crowd turnout been for you guys? It's been amazing. Um, you know, we kind of were bummed at first because it seems like maybe a little bit of a lower profile stage. It's often hidden in the trees sure. somewhere, you know. So we were kind of bumming. But man, kids just file in before we play, and we, you know, probably play into 1,500 to wow. 3,000 kids a day. That's so insane. In front, of, in front of the Ernie Ball truck. That's yeah. great. Yeah. That's really badass. Because we like those sort of underdog yeah. opportunities, like the opportunity to, you know, where they didn't really account for what might happen at the stage. So it's not really enough room to accommodate all these people. Yeah. It's overwhelming. And, like and, that's, that. and that's what I was kind of wondering. I was going, guys, you know, these guys have been around for a while. They're, they're a name. And then not to say that, that they don't put, you know, names on smaller stages. But, yeah, but it was. I was really surprised to see that it was Ernie Ball. I was going, man, that's yeah. that's crazy. And then, and just to, to to know the crowds I've seen, you know, a dozen people or you know maybe thirty people standing around. Going, God, that's that's got to yeah. be terrible. But I mean, if you're packing fifteen, that's great. Yeah, yeah. That's really good. Yeah. That's badass. Thanks, I man. like that a lot. Yeah, we. I mean, you really felt, and it doesn't matter what they are. They're on some certain stage, and either it's packed there, or you get lucky. Like, yeah. I got here first, I get the front row, and then it gets packed after my yeah. kind of hurts over from the end of the other show. Exactly. Yeah. It's funny because you know you get you don't find out what time you play until nine or ten in the morning. That's when they disseminate the schedule to everybody, and then the first thing you do is you know you blast your set time to everybody, all the online properties, and, right. and then you start to look for the other bands that you'll be competing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, oh no, like, we got you know Stay Ocean and All Time Low or like whatever going on at the same time, so you know you're stressed out. But we've been managing to pull. Full crowd. That's so, awesome. Yeah, we feel triumphant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's post work? We got a um, book for six months, actually. Holy crap. Yeah. You, guys are, you guys are animals. Yeah. Non stop. We'll see. We'll see when the wheels <laughs> fall off. We feel like they're getting a little loose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody, they, you know, this world tour is notoriously the most difficult tour you can do. Like, everybody knows that. One of the world knows that. If you can survive this tour, you, you can survive everything. So all the other bands, when it's over, they get a nice long break. We fly straight to London. Oh, my God. And um, sort of a dream, definitely a dream come true. We're, I got offered the main stage at Reading and Meets Festival. Oh, wow. Two shows sold out, 140,000 tickets each. That's wow. Yeah, so that is unbelievable. We've been lucky over there. The main stage is like us and Kings of Leon, Deftones, and Fall Out. Oh, Good for you guys. Yeah. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I even remember from... When you guys were in our studio, it seemed like there was a lot of people that were listening. It didn't seem like all the people. Or spoof calls yeah. or something. <laughs> fake, fake calls about tattoos and things. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. But yeah, it, 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 it's an interesting scenario for us because you know, we will headline a tour over there and sell out three to five thousand capacity rooms. And literally fly back to the states and play Tampa for 57 yeah. people. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that's how. And you're like, don't you people know? We're yeah. huge. <laughs> <laughs> We're new elements, really. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, we absolutely. Added it, like, 
Yeah, well, we got we got it. we got the word from you guys yeah. beforehand, and so we were like, all right, cool. So we had it before, but yeah, that's but nice uh, yeah, that's, that's just awesome. It's great to hear. Nice. Definitely our pleasure. So after six months, gonna chill out, maybe oh, take yeah. a break. Well, yes, we do Reading and Leeds, and then we each uh, we're going to pop the roach in Europe and the UK, and then we do uh, full US in the fall, and then at the beginning of the year another full US, and then back to oh Japan, and then back to Europe. And, Good guy. Oh, that crap, yeah. People don't know you by now. I, mean, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> we got ourselves out there. It's up to them to like us or not. How was, how was the Chicago stuff? Being, being, being uh, you know what? I just changed my answer from earlier. Yeah. That was the highlight. Was it? Absolutely. I mean, over 3,000 people. Oh, yeah. And it was just, you know, it was one of those prideful moments, you know, where you just... Yeah, I'll get them. So they knew what was up. Yeah, yeah. Cool. and it was, you know, everybody knows, you know, all the, the audience knew we were from there. They were proud to have us people in the city. We were proud to have play for such a chiller city, you know? I mean, it's really, really excited to be one of the I'm just trying to imagine 3,000 people crammed around that truck. Yeah, that's yeah. Just, that's a sea of people. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's yeah cool. we love it. Right on. Well, uh, we got uh, some other people to chat with and everything. Sure thing. It's definitely so good to talk to you. Always, man. You guys are amazing. Thank and we'll, you so we'll much. be in your set for sure. Oh, 